I think the most important thing with the ENY program is, is it really is a chance for us as a company to tell who we are, tell who we are to the marketplace because obviously the biggest problem for every business is labor. And when I say labor, good labor, good people. And smaller companies tend to have a harder time attracting top talent. Um, you know, you'll go to work for a company like ENY if you're an accountant. You know, and you're top of your class. FMS is going to be on the list down here versus EMY is going to be up here. So by getting that brand recognition through a program like this, it not only helps the company, but it helps the employees. Biggest challenges are probably people. Um, and it's the people we have are great. It's finding people that fit into that culture. We are not a business and I'm not a person that watches what you do at work. You know, you come to work, you do your job. If the clients are happy and your work's done, if you're slipping out for an hour and a half or two hours to run errands, I don't care. You know, it's your client. You've got a client base you've got to maintain. Finding that sometimes out there when you bring somebody in who's been micromanaged and you plug them in, it's almost like a kid going off to college, which I fear for my older son next year. <laughs> um, you know, you're basically opening the doors of freedom to them. And we've had some failures there where people come in and nobody's watching me. I'm going to do what I want to do. And if you learn that responsibility level, FMS is a great place to work because you do what you want to do. The grocery industry obviously is very competitive. Um, so our most recent venture was in labor management and labor scheduling, um, using different algorithms to look at days of the week, you know, time. Sales data has always been a core base for determining labor. But on top of that, knowing really the days of the week, the history from previous years, snowstorms, as we all know, result in people rushing to the grocery store. So if you base your labor off of history, and there's a specific event or a specific day of the week as when July falls on a Friday versus a Saturday, et cetera, has impacts on sales and labor. So that's been our core focus really to help the bottom line of the retailers recently. Our competitive landscape's interesting. We've got a lot of competitors to some degree, but very few in terms of what we actually do. Um, and what I mean by that is there's accounting providers out there, there's software providers out there, there's hosting solutions out there. But we're all wrapped in one and we're specific in the grocery industry. So we don't have any direct competitor that does everything that we do for the grocery industry. But if you were to choose to host your servers with a company in New York or Los Angeles or overseas, you very well could. Um, you could take pieces and do it with different companies. So we're kind of a one-stop shop. When we look at times of you know high earnings and a good strong economy, people do tend to go back to the specialty world and they like the service and the point-to-point -point contact. The younger generation though has grown up essentially in a bad economy and they've gotten used to the Amazons and the online orderings. So I do think in the long term we're going to see more and more business shift to online and less brick and mortar. Um, but I do think there's always going to be a place for it. It's just going to be a matter of what size that business is. Um, so in five years, I would probably expect to see some more consolidation because of some degradation in sales in the traditional marketplace, um, but not to the point that grocery is completely different.